Good morning, good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Brianna, also known as the diva behind Diva and the Divine, and we are gonna have a Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. March 15th, and we've got a lot to do today. It is already, oh, Gracie's potty alarm is going off, which means it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Am I running a little bit behind schedule? Yes, yes I am. I need to go downstairs and get my workout in. I've been messaging people, journaling, eating a really healthy breakfast. My breakfast today was amazing. I actually made like an egg omelet and had cheese and spinach and I cut up my Canadian bacon into little pieces and fried that all up in a pan. And then I needed a carb, I'm out of English muffins, and so I instead had two frozen waffles. And it was great, it was delicious, it fueled me really well, and now I am all set and ready to go. Today, there is a lot on my plate, kind of, sort of. I have an epic Amazon haul coming today, and by epic, I mean it might be six or seven items. Um, I finally started using the whole like Amazon delivery day thing, which instead of sending you things as you order them, it waits, and one day a week is your Amazon delivery day, and it throws everything that you've ordered in the last week into the same box, and then the whole box shows up at your door. And yet last week was a um, very heavy Amazon order day for me, um, week for me, because I needed a couple of self-care things and then um, I got some caffeinated powders that I'll show you and then most importantly I got a couple of things I needed to begin adding iodine to my day. Yes, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but based on the symptoms of iodine deficiency, the, some of the research that I've done, I listened to the book, The Iodine Crisis. I am so excited and so optimistic about starting this protocol, I can't even tell you. Iodine is supposed to help with thyroid function. It, some of the symptoms are like brain fog, fatigue, um, muscle weakness and soreness. Um, uh, there's also like swelling in the neck, which I don't think I have, but I measured my neck just to, you know, see what happens if it goes down at all or anything. Um, but also dry and flaky skin, which is something that I have been dealing with unlike anything I've ever, like I've never had to deal with it like this before. My skin all along my nose, is always dry and flaky and my eyebrows are always dry and flaky and I'm like what what gives what what the heck is happening so all of that to say Lindsay Murphy made me do it I ordered the iodine I ordered a an electrolyte thing that's because you need to increase your sodium intake and I ordered selenium I you'll see you'll see I'm very very pumped about it and today I also am getting a facial which is why I have to hustle downstairs and do some lifting and shower because my facial is at noon and then after my facial we are going to go and run some errands so come along with me welcome to my day
definitely. Blue, definitely. Pink, definitely. And yellow, get the whole collection. All right. Okay, we are back from Target. Finally, errands are over for the day, and I'm gonna do a little Target haul for you. So we got carrots. You're gonna notice there's actually less produce than there was in last week when Lent started. Um, I was actually told that I need to lighten up on the produce. So my five servings of produce a day goal is going to be bumped down to about three, and I'm gonna be very choosy about what I do. Um, it's gonna be less raw, more, as you saw, I cooked the spinach that was in my eggs this morning, things like that. Um, so my body could not handle the, um, the produce. So I'm making some changes. So we've got carrots. Um, I have my skipjack tuna, which is my favorite tuna. I actually am out of tuna. So I got to replenish my tuna. We got some sharp cheddar cheese just to have on hand. My husband needed light ranch dressing and light mayonnaise. So I got that for him. Sandwich bread for him. Breakfast bread for him. Um, I got some more good culture cottage cheese. I've never going back, man. This is great stuff. Um, I also got, they didn't have the good gather brand goat cheese, but they had Montechevre and I was feeling some goat cheese. So I got that. I got three blocks, count them, three of the extra sharp white cheddar cheese. Now this is the, the price tag on this is cheaper than what it used to be. It used to be like $5.99. I'm thinking they changed the quality of the cheese just a little bit. It's not quite as delicious as we remember it, but it's also still the best tasting cheese you can get under Good & Gather brand um, for people who like sharper cheddars and stuff. So it's still really good. It's like $3.19 instead of $4.99. So it's cheaper, but it's not the primo quality that um, it previously was, which I think is probably why it disappeared for a while. They changed it. Eric needed ice cream, lunch meat for me, which is turkey, lunch meat for Eric, which is chicken. Um, he also needed more peanut butter, and this is the peanut butter I get him. Um, butter in half and half, which can only mean one thing. It is Emily Bites Creamy Chicken Soup Week. So <laughs> that is what we're having for dinner tomorrow and subsequently the rest of the week because tomorrow's already Wednesday. Um, bananas. I did pick up bananas for myself because this is not going to make me as crazy as eating a bunch of vegetables and it still counts as produce. Um, apples for my husband and for me too. I might have gone to the Easter candy section as you saw. Um, these were on sale. Cadbury cream eggs. I get myself at least one box a year. And it's really funny because um, my coach actually posted on Instagram not too long ago. She was like, the macro balance in these is actually perfect. And I was like, well, you know, you have the right coach when she advocates for telling you to go out and buy Cadbury cream eggs. So I did because I have to listen to my coach, right? Um, these guys were on sale, and while this means I have to control myself, I'm, I am and I like the single portions, I'm much more likely to um, shop the sales. And because this was on sale, I can measure out however many I need, and I'm assuming there's a grammage on the back. Yep, 32 grams per serving, so I can put that in my tracker, and then however many grams I have, it'll adjust accordingly. And then, as you saw, I got all the peeps. So now my husband can quit eating my stale peeps. He can do whatever he wants with these. Um, I'll probably poke a hole in at least one or two of these, but now he has all the peeps and he can stop eating mine. Um, and then the not fun stuff, I got some toilet things. I go back and forth on these scrubbing bubble things, but um, I feel like why the heck not? Spring cleaning, right? We needed filter for our uh, air filter in the bedroom. And th this was Brianna treated herself. Um, the baby foot exfoliation foot peel. It is $25. It is an excuse to sit on your butt and do absolutely nothing for 90 minutes. Cause I think that's how long you're supposed to leave it on. And then in like five to seven days, you're all the skin starts to peel off your feet and then your feet are soft and beautiful and everything's wonderful. And I did it once before and I loved it. So my feet have been looking a little rough lately, especially since they haven't gone to the a pedicurist since July, 2019. So I got that for myself. And my other treat myself, this was an unexpected treat myself, but it is Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and um, my my Target has an Ulta in it. So I actually ordered this online for pickup the day that it was on sale for half off. This is a great brow pencil, my first ever brow pencil. And this one is in a shade I can't freaking find anywhere else. This, if it'll focus, nope. 
ash brown is what it says, which means it's actually, it's actually like a grayish, like it's cool toned brown. And all of my brow products from my latest, my last benefit purchase, Gracie, no, Gracie, hey, all of my, what am I trying to say? All of my brow pencils from the last time I purchased the big benefit kit, which was I think two years ago now, are warm brown. And I've been putting up with them because I paid for them and I wanna use them. But when this one went on sale, this is a perfect match to my cool toned eyebrows. So I purchased it, but it's normally like 22 or $24, which is the same price as the benefit stuff, but I also don't typically buy the benefit stuff full price. Um, I, I wait till it's in a kit and on sale and stuff like that. But um, I'm so excited to have this back. Well, I'll have to see if it makes a difference, especially on my freshly done eyebrows. I look like a hot mess because my skin is very reactive lately. So got a chemical peel, things happened to my face. I'm a hot mess, <sighs> but that's the update. I've been gone for five hours. This took a lot longer than I expected it to. Okay, part of my Amazon order came. So I'll show you the part that came. Um, I got a pack of three glass uh, nail files. I had been meaning to get nail files, uh, glass nail files for a while now, and I just have it. And I happened to remember that I wanted them while I was busy doing my Amazon spendy, spendy, spend. So I got a pack of three, black, purple, and pink. This, it's like part beauty, part health. This is a 10 pack of bamboo facial washcloths. I guess I can pull one out here. Um, they're like meant for, I guess they're not meant for baby. They're advertised as baby. They don't feel that different from regular washcloths, but my esthetician hates when people use washcloths on their face. Regular terry cloth washcloths are no, no on your face, but bamboo is softer and gentler and allowed to go on your face. So because I use the, uh, prim the primally pure oil and I use a uh, washcloth to wipe it off, I ordered a 10 pack of bamboo washcloths for me to use instead of the washcloths I'm currently using. Then I got this. This is supposed to be like the queen of of cuticle remover. This is supposed to be like the queen of cuticle removers, Blue Cross. It was like five bucks for this giant bottle that will literally last me years. Um, so there's that because I need a new cuticle remover because mine was very, very old and coming to the end. And then I got selenium. Why did I get selenium? Because your girl is starting a next a new part of her nutrition journey and her health journey. I am going to be starting to supplement iodine. Yeah, iodine. Let me talk a little bit more about that. All right, let's talk about this, the iodine supplementation. What I'm currently holding in my hand is J. Crow's Lugal Solution 2%. It was like $10, $12, something like that. Lindsay Murphy, we're going to start a segment on this channel called Lindsay Murphy Made Me Do It because there are a lot of things, very impactful things that I have interacted with or done something with long term that Lindsay has introduced me to. And this is the latest Lindsay made me do it. Um, iodine supplementation is apparently, and I have no medical background whatsoever, I did listen to the Iodine Crisis book and got some information, did some Googling, you know, uh, doctor, doctor internet, and basically just looked up some symptoms and stuff from iodine deficiency, which is something that evidently runs rampant in our world now and in the United States because iodine somehow was demonized for something. And in turn, we ended up with an anti-iodine mindset. And the uh, flip side of iodine is called bromine. And bro apparently bromine and bromide isn't everything. Flame retardant pajamas, carpets, curtains, flour, Unless it says unbrominated flour, it is in our flour. And that is like the anti-iodine agent, okay? That's, I'm putting it in really, really layman's terms. Symptoms of iodine deficiency include um, swollen neck because it affects your thyroid. Uh, iodine is superbly helpful, beneficial to the thyroid. What does your thyroid control? Your metabolism, T3 hormone, all of that good stuff. Healthy thyroid is crucial for things like weight loss. Um, this is not why I'm taking it. The reason I started taking it is because on a live stream recently, I was talking about how I just feel kind of like I'm in this brain fog and I'm dragging and I am so tired, like tired beyond what typical Brianna chronic illness tired feels like and just 
all these things and Lindsay was in the chat and she's like you should you should look at iodine because that is some of the things that clears up foggy brain energy problems all again tied to the thyroid and stuff right and then as I was researching other symptoms it, it also it has a lot to do with um, your breasts in women it uh, talks about how it is helpful in like shrinking tumors and just a, a lot of breast health related things as well which I thought was superbly interesting um, especially since I've been getting a little bit achy during PMS and that is a new thing for me that's not it's been common the last handful of months and it has not previously been common for me um only during PM only during PMS which I know it's a like it's a normal symptom right but it's not a symptom I typically had I just swear you turn 35 and like everything changes my acneic skin has gone to crap and not because of acne but because of other problems 35 man 35 anyway um, so it's good for breast health, it's good for thyroid health, energy, things like that. Also, and like in the book, there's people talking about it for so many different things. One of the symptoms that really stood out to me though is like uh, dry and flaky skin was one of the symptoms of iodine deficiency. And I was like, hold up, because I have been having the worst flaky eyebrows. I've never had flaky eyebrows in my life in my life. This might be TMI. You might go, oh, gross. I'm just being real with y'all here. Um, it, and it, it's a flaky that like doesn't, I don't think it's dandruff. It might be something that's like psoriasis based because psori my grandfather has psoriasis and I think psoriasis is genetic. So I might have psoriasis, uh, but I don't, I've never had anything beyond like a little, a little dry patch that goes away or something. So it could have been eczema. Who the heck knows? But this has been, uh, I've, I've been having flaky skin here, weird skin irritation here and on my eyebrows. And and that is new. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So for, I mean, I guess, I guess it's more than the 10 to $12 I paid for this because I bought the other things required as well. Um, but for 10 bucks, I'm starting this. So I put, instead of starting with one drop, don't shoot me, Lindsay, I started with two drops in my little concoction. What's in my concoction? One of the things that you're supposed to do, and I'll, I can go into this in a different video, once I understand kind of how my body is is adapting and any changes that are happening over the coming weeks, that then I will tell you if it's worth doing a whole iodine related video, I'll do one. But I'm, I'm realizing how bright it is in here. Um, but there are supplements and things that you can take and should take to help your body. It could, because especially when you start with iodine, um, you, what you go through is a bromide detoxification process because the iodine is going to come back in and kick out all of the bromide that we have been ingesting and surrounding ourselves with regularly. Um, and that could cause a detoxification process. So some of the things you're supposed to do involve ingesting more sodium. So um, you can use just like like sodium water, like put a quarter, quarter teaspoon of salt in warm water and drink that like two times a day. And, but, but why do that when there's like electrolyte mixes and stuff out there that have all the sodium and don't taste quite as bad. So I ordered one called Relight and it's not here yet. It's in my second box of Amazon stuff that has not arrived yet. So I was like, no, cause I want to drink my, drink my iodine and get this process started. I remembered that I had liquid IV from when we were getting our booster shots and trying to really hydrate up or our, our vaccines, not our booster. We didn't do anything for our booster shot. Um, so I have in here some liquid IV and two drops of this blood red substance. Um, it's, it's very, very red. Check this out. Ooh. Um, barely noticeable in the water. The other thing I did just for kicks, just for funsies, I'm doing the skin test which you probably can't even see. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. See that thing that kind of looks like a bruise? That is iodine on my skin. And the reason I did that is because on your, apparently there's a skin test you can do and you can see how quickly your body absorbs the color of the iodine. And it's supposed to, if you are if you have enough iodine in your system, it should take over 24 hours for the stain to go away. If you don't have enough iodine in your system, your skin goes it absorbs it. So we'll see. We'll see. I didn't do it like legitimately. I just put one drop on my skin and rubbed it around a little bit until it stained. Um, so we'll see, but I've got two drops right here. One drop. I guess I didn't think about the fact that I put a drop on my skin. Whoops. Um, yeah, iodine. It's my new thing. I'm trying it out and I will keep you posted as to how it's going.
All right, I thought I would walk you through my little bin of Easter t Easter toys, Easter decorations here. Um, we only have this one little bin and a wreath, and a lot of these, actually, I think literally everything except one thing is a hand-me-down. Um, so I got a lot of these decorations from my grandfather. Um, so a lot of them are very old, uh, but we got these cute little, like, bunny guy and duck guy who you sit up there and like their legs dangle and then we got this bunny which evidently is a hallmark bunny according to the tag on its behind my grandmother worked for hallmark for years and years and years so like in a retail store so she was always bringing home stuff from hallmark we got this little bunny with a carrot and then we got this little dude, or I guess she's a lady. We got that little lady. We got this this hanging thing that we're probably going to hang on a door. Like that. So then we have, oh, I guess I bought these. <laughs> I bought these towels. We have a pink one with, nope, just pink. We have pink, and we have like the, the Easter color detailing. We got these Beanie Babies Um, went last. We got these Beanie Babies last year when we spent all that time do you guys remember when we went through my mother-in-law's stash of beanie babies any duplicates that there were we got to pick and choose which ones we wanted to bring home so we brought home the rainbow bunny we brought home this cutie pie we got the little chick we got i love this one this is the praying bear so look at him look at him praying how cute is that and then we got this little bunny. So we got a whole collection of Easter themed Thai beanie babies. Then we got this little dude from my grandpa. And then we come over here. This is mine. This is from Sweetmint Handmade, the mug company that most of my mugs are from. I got Happy Easter with this beautiful floral cross that it won't really focus on, but that's all right, it's beautiful. And then this is painted ceramic. My grandmother liked to do ceramic work. And so on the bottom, I don't know if you can see, it says AV on the bottom for Andrew Voss, my grandma. So I have a couple from different seasons, I have a ceramic work by her. So I have this, and then we have a bunny who was holding a basket, but the basket's actually broken. So that bunny is hanging out on the countertop waiting for me to super glue it. Then my friend Jess gave me this peep a couple years ago, and we all know how I feel about peeps, so it was very appropriate. And then this is one thing I purchased, my little my little candy dish with the spring daisies, and this can stay up until summertime, which is really nice. And obviously I have my Unreal candy in there. And that's literally the extent of my Easter decoration. That's it. I really need to acquire some Easter decorations and just more seasonal decorations, but for now, this works. So there we go.